Today we're gonna to be looking at a new play to earn cryptocurrency game that you could be backing right now. But do you want to? We're gonna to touch on also the two biggest play to earn cryptocurrency games to date and how there is absolutely huge news. I'm talking trillion dollar news associated with one of them, which on one hand is cool and could be good. On the other hand is actually tragic. So my name is Vosk. I'm gonna be your host today. This is Tails, the owner of the Vosk on YouTube channel. Let's jump into another crazy crypto video. As always, nothing in this video is going to be that financial advisors. If you've ever wanted to send anything to Voscoin, whether it's shirts you want us to wear, hats, a note, item, you know, whatever, we have a new mail address. I'm dropping it down in the video description below, and it's also here on screen. Send whatever you want, if you want to. Axie Infinity traded about 49 bucks a coin, down a whopping 70% from its all-time high, and yet it's still up 40,000% compared to a year of, over a year ago from its all-time low, and it's up 886% from its uh, price point about a year ago. Looking at Axie, if you don't know, we have a starter guide on how to get well, started with Axie Infinity. It's pretty cool. It's kind of Pokemon-ish, Digital Nation, Battle Collect, Earn. Um, huge emphasis on their breeding. And well, you're going to start to learn that you need the Smooth Love Potion to get some love and going. Next, the rank 38th biggest cryptocurrency when ranked by CoinMarketCap. The sandbox and their sand token trading at about three bucks a coin right now down a whopping 63 percent from their all-time high about four months ago up ten thousand percent from their all-time low over a year ago up 415 percent over the last year specifically right the sandbox is very cool roblox minecraft ish you know it looks very fun engaging and i mean when you have endless money Eventually, you're gonna start building something pretty cool, and I actually kind of think that's what we're seeing here. Forget about high fidelity graphics, we're just looking for an engaging game. And we've seen time and time again that a good game, or in this case, an opportunity to earn tokens, literally turn your time into money, can be super appealing. Another example, recent example of that would be Pokemon Arceus. Bam, check out my shiny collection. But yeah, Pokemon Arceus, I think, was a really fun game uh, that definitely did not rely on high fidelity graphics. HSBC has entered the sandbox to offer educational finance games. This partnership hopes to promote financial literacy via gamified experiences within the metaverse. If you don't know, HSBC, one of the largest European banks with total assets of a casual $2.4 trillion. And let's compare that to the market cap of all cryptocurrencies, about $2 trillion. You understand a bank that owns more than every crypto in the world combined right now just entered the crypto space. On one hand, it's scary. That's a lot of money. A lot of power comes with a lot of money. On the other hand, it's kind of cool. It's kind of bullish. On your third hand, if you had one, you could be losing $1 million because you suck and you made an error. Devastating. Actually really sad. You know, this is, I shouldn't really make fun of it. A huge loss like that, especially if that was, you know, the core just piece of money that this person had, that could be something that causes them to make a critical error. Something very sad, right? Simple mistake led one crypto user to sell his precious rock NFT for 444 way, a micro unit of Ethereum, instead of 444 ETH, a tenth of a penny rather than 1.2 million. Now that's just, that's sad. That's bad. That's terrifying. <laughs> Enter MechaChain who made today's video possible. They are a new play to earn opportunity in the crypto gaming sphere. Looking at the art, the homepage here, I'm intrigued, but I'm also a dude that loves anime, loves Gundam, right? And so I, I, that's one kind of vibe and view I could kind of see here. Then, I had a blast playing uh, the Godzilla fighting game like 20 years ago, whatever that was called, I forget. And even more so, a huge Armored Core fan, if you guys ever played that game. Um, and, and those are some of the things I, I kind of see when I, when I look at this. Which, by the way, did you know that Armored Core is supposed to be making a comeback or at least bringing a new game to market? So I'm, I'm pretty intrigued. Can we get some NF NFTs integrated with that one? So, here's your job as a mecha pilot. What's that other game? Titanfall? Mecha Pilot is your next job. Assemble your NFTs to create your mecha. 
a machine of destruction in the palm of your hand. Pilot your mecha in fierce battles from your mobile. Defeat your enemy alone or in a team and earn mechaniums. The mecha chain cryptocurrency. And that's where I start to get intrigued. What you see here is going to be the incoming mecha token for their play to earn game. Every play to earn game needs to have their own token. That's the interest and appeal, unless they're using you know, some kind of ecosystem token. Imagine a Call of Duty coin, but spread across all of the different Call of Duty coins. They don't just drop a new token every single time. And then that's what you use to buy all the skins and whatever else. Something simple, but widely adopted, could be a lot of fun, useful, entertaining, and potentially lucrative, especially timing certain cycles right. Bacanium, a rare mineral at the heart of galactic conflicts. Its infinite energy potential makes the heart of mechas beat faster. Mechas, mechanium is the cryptocurrency at the heart of the already said this chain universe. Acquire it and join the foundation or die. Just kidding, they don't say that part. Your mechanium is used to participate in battles and reward players, trade and repair your NFTs. Now that's cool. Imagine you go into a battle with your NFT, gets it blown up, and then your NFT changes. I love the concept of basically the NFTs that can evolve or be impacted and change, right? Bam, so you go into battle and you lose and now your NFT is in pieces, it's war-torn, it's battered. And that's how it stays until you use their coin to repair it. That's fun, you start to kind of gamify it here. That's, uh, that's interesting, creating just a little bit more utility and just a little bit of uniqueness. I'm not saying that's necessarily what they're gonna do, but I'd love to see that. Um, receive earnings by renting your mecha. Okay, look, we're... Uh, See a space cowboy. Bam. A staking system for these coins will be available after the ICO or initial coin offering, allowing earnings and rewards for the holders of these tokens. 1000 Genesis. Which one will be yours? Mecha Chain, a 3D play to earn video game of robot combat called Mechas and Space Conquest. Each mecha is a collection of NFTs representing robot parts and can be purchased online by blue card with the game's crypto called Mechanium or in Ethereum. These parts, once assembled, give birth to a controllable robot in a PvP player versus player combat video game. The players earn Mechaniums by winning battles and trades and buys new parts in order to become the best mecha chain pilot. I think that's cool. But you got to make sure it's not pay to win. Just like that, bang, you know, it just became uninteresting. Um, what you should be upgrading, really just, really you can only have cosmetics as buyable items. Otherwise, the game just, just, just degenerates. And then a gamer, ask any real gamer, they know that. So basically, we can see two sides here, right? The assemblies and the pure genes. Oh my god, it's like the PC gamers. Uh, they got a lot of market leading partners in here from Game Starter, Trustpad, to Dow Starter, among you know many other names in here, and just collaborations, right? Looking at the roadmap, they've already conducted a private sale. They're in the process of conducting a public sale. They then have NFT colonies coming up, participate in the colonization of planets, set up your colonies in different areas, and benefit from income generated by players during battles. Q3 1000 Mecha NFT Genesis and 3D Garage. I think that's actually an incredibly low amount, and it should be 10 times that. Um, my, my personal opinion there, but hey, we'll see what happens. Get the first complete robots with the ability to assemble them in 3D in a virtual garage and swap all the parts iOS and Android versions of the game. That's cool. Mobile gaming is very popular now, whether you like it or not. And then looking forward, pilot your NFT mecha and win your battles in the arsenal. Climb the rankings and become a mecha chain hero. So, you know, looking, you know, long-term development, more game experiences, expansions. Uh, that's basically the general vibe here. Looking at their team, they have four founders listed here. One has their LinkedIn attached, pulling up his LinkedIn. We can see a public face attached. This is a project based out of France, which has been making really big strides in the crypto space from just basically creating a conducive ecosystem for cryptocurrency projects, which is really cool to see. That's why I think we'll continue to see a lot of projects come out of France because, well, they're just creating a, a proper environment for them. Looking at some pilots down here, we see additional names from art directors to blockchain devs and so forth. Some of these people actually aren't anonymous, but they don't provide a lot of details here. I would like to see them add more details. For example, I know who Quentin is, 
and you know he is a doxed and public uh, person in the crypto space that works with numerous marketing um, initiatives, especially for France-based cryptocurrency projects. And that's actually how, uh, you talking to him, I discovered this project. If you would like to participate in their sale, which is entirely up to you, it's not financial advice, you do whatever you wanna do, you can just go right over to the homepage, I'll link down below, and it's the big button right there. It says, buy Mechanium, Machinium, or however we wanna say it today, right? However, I've got terrible news for you. If you are in the communist state of America, you will not be participating because we are on the list down here alongside North Korea. Good job, America. You're killing it. Digging a little bit deeper into these tokenomics though, we're gonna see a DAO here, a decentralized autonomous organization. That's cool, DAO managed growth fund. 8% of the company operation of marketing. So this is gonna be how the mecha tokens break down. There's gonna be 100 million of these tokens. Private sale, 15.4% gone. Public sale, 5.1% tokens available for sale and 1.5% for liquidity. 28% of their tokens will go as stake and rewards for the holders. Play to earn managed by the DAO. 22% to run the game's economy, basically player rewards here. 5% to the advisors, 10% tokens to the founders, 5% uh, to the dev studio for collaborators and employees of the project, as well as, again, for the development studio here. Um, so this is how the tokens break down. If you want to think of this just real simple, basically 50% will be pushed out through staking and through play to earn mechanics. And then the other 50% has gone out in sales and allocated to the team and developers here. This will be a ERC20 token living on the Ethereum blockchain. If you wanna learn how to get started using Ethereum tokens on the ETH blockchain, you should watch our MetaMask guide. It's very easy, get set up, get running and get started with the basics that just simply is cryptocurrency. Right now, they have 150,000 followers on Twitter. They have some other social media as well, like a Telegram group. Here's a little teaser that they launched of their pilots. You know, we can see that they're trending towards good graphics overall, which is, you know, nice to see. It doesn't look like, it looks like an expensive mobile game instead of a super cheap mobile game like we've seen way too many NFT projects launching. It's like, hey, we've got a game worse than Flappy Bird from 27 years ago. Do you love it? Also, it's got game breaking bugs in it. So uh, personally, I'm interested to see where this goes. I like stuff like this. Play to earn is gonna be huge. I think one of the big things to remember with play to earn and gaming, right, is think about you know younger people, kids, youth, right? They don't have full-time or maybe even part-time jobs yet. The opportunity to turn your time into literally money through the use of cryptocurrency tokens is you know, absolutely insane. If I was a kid now, that's what I would be all about. Just trying to hit the ground running and make some, you know, instead of gaming on this game and, and earning nothing, right? I could game over here and literally earn money. Like that's really cool. That's a unique opportunity of this era. Smart kids will be capitalizing. Uninformed kids will be missing out. Not gonna make it. Just like your NGMI, if you don't slap that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. We upload daily here on the Bosscoin YouTube channel. Please be advised, there are scammers impersonating us on multiple platforms. I don't want your money. I just want you to smash that subscribe button. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. That means it's not financial advice.